evening and welcome to tonight's special meeting of the Board of Education, a special meeting called to fill uh, temporarily a board vacancy created um, earlier this month or earlier last month. Um, to start the meeting, if we'll all stand, say the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, everyone. Uh, we'll move on to call the or roll. Gladly. President Wasserman. Here. Vice President Baker. Here. Secretary Kaminsky, myself here. Treasurer Brandstan. Here. Member Gorton. Here. And Member McFarland. Here. All present. Six of the six. Uh, we have no formal request to address the board. Does anybody out there like to address the board this evening? Seeing none. That, that, can, um, that can reach the microphone. That can reach the podium. <laughs> <laughs> we, will, <laughs> we will move on to Board of Education matters. And, uh, and what we're going to do is uh, discuss the uh, recommendation of the subcommittee to bring forward to all of you to fill our board vacancy. Um, speaking for that subcommittee, since I'm supposed to chair it by our policy, um, let me tell you what we've done and what our, our recommendation to you is. Uh, to refresh everyone's memory, a subcommittee was formed at our last regular meeting to recommend to the full board a person to fill the Board of Education vacated seat vacated by the resignation on September 9th of uh, Kimberly Vanderkellen. The full board is required by law to fill this open position within 30 days of that resignation, so choosing tonight will fulfill that requirement. We announced this opening and selection process to the public via our board meeting and subsequent articles in the Midland Daily News. MPS website and notifications on our various MPS building doors. Our MPS policy calls for the board, president of the board to chair the subcommittee of two additional board members to make a recommendation to the full board of a person to fill the open seat. Such person will fill the seat until the next regularly scheduled school board election, which in this case is November of 2014, or approximately 13 months from now. At that point, the public will elect someone to fill the remainder of the seat's term which in this case expires December 31st of 2016. At our last meeting, we selected Vice President Baker and Member McFarland to serve on the selection subcommittee with me, and we have talked and met over this issue subsequently. We reached out to members of the community and reviewed the submissions of numerous people interested in open board positions, in addition to people who informally inquired. After reviewing the applications and with at least one committee person speaking to each applicant, that expressed an interest, we come, we, uh, we come to the full board tonight with a recommendation to fill our vacant board seat. We're pleased to recommend to you tonight Ms. Pamela Singer to temporarily fill the vacant seat until the completion of the November 2014 election. Ms. Singer is being recommended based on her strengths in meeting the criteria we announce publicly, especially in the areas of experience and involvement in education and youth in our Midland community. Pam has had an active involvement with the Legacy Center for Community Success. She has experience in assessing and communicating developmental assets and risk-taking behaviors among youth aged 12 to 18 years old. She served as a facilitator in the development of the Youth Master Plan for Midland County. And as part of that, she has worked with over 90 youth-oriented organizations, agencies, and school districts regarding that issue. In her activity on the Youth Master Plan, she has gathered a wide knowledge and understanding of our community and youth. She has met with agencies, schools, faith groups, nonprofits, doctors, hospital groups, and others serving Midland youth. She's had discussions with all of these wide-ranging groups that give her a unique breadth of understanding of our community and its youth. Ms. Singer has served in other leadership roles throughout the community and our schools, such as MPS Parent Information Committee, our PIC committee, the MPS District School Improvement Committee, our Midland High School Booster Club Vice President currently, uh, served in Junior Achievement and a board member of Plymouth Elementary PTO. Beyond our schools, Pam has been involved in the Blessed Sacrament Youth Outreach Program, board president of the Presbyterian Parent Preschool Cooperative, and has served on the United Way's Community Impact Panel, who makes a prioritization of the spending decisions by the United Way. Pam is a resident of the MPS jurisdiction, has four children attending MPS, and has been actively involved in the educational process in Midland for the past 19 years and comes highly recommended by those she has dealt with in our community. In our conversations with Pam, it was clear she had done her homework 
and proactively sought out understanding our current issues and had explored what board member training was available to her. As Pam stated in her application, I believe partnerships with the community are necessary in preparing our youth for a successful future. I support formulating policies and approving programs that provide high quality teaching and learning. We live in a competitive world and we must ensure our students are prepared in the best possible way to thrive. With her strong interest in education of our Midland youth demonstrated, and I will emphasize the word demonstrated, by her leadership, involvement, and advocacy throughout our community, the subcommittee is pleased to recommend Ms. Pamela Singer to the full board for filling our temporary vacant board position. I'll now open it up to any comment from uh, the other subcommittee members first. Lynn? I would, <coughs> I would thank all our uh, applicants, first of all, and, uh, and Pam is, uh, will be an excellent, um, I think she's an excellent recommendation with all her experience and background, and um, so I um, fully support that recommendation. Scott? It was, a, it was a fun process, um, really, I think, uh, reviewing all of the different applicants and getting a chance to um, speak with them and learn a little bit more about um, their passion for our schools. And, uh, and I welcome uh, Pam and look forward to working with her. I'll open it up to the rest of the board <coughs> to comment. Start with Yvonne. Um, I look forward to working with Pam. I I think that's, I'm glad she's interested. It sounds like she has a lot of very good experience and will really bring a lot to the board. Bye-bye. John? Um, I was looking ahead at the, uh, when terms expire, which one is my own, um, at our next election, um, and we have no guarantees that any temporary board candidate would run, for sure. We don't know that. And we don't know uh, current board members if they would run again. So potentially you have four positions that would be open for at the election. Mm -hmm. So is there any feel for s whether Pam might have an interest in maybe more? Yeah, I can, answer, I can answer that. Um, not, not that of course, a never say never, never say yeah, yeah, always. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But she's very interested in, in serving in this capacity and was very interested in serving this capacity even if she wasn't selected for this go around. Okay. So that okay. would indicate she has a high degree of interest and would likely uh, highly consider running I don't want to say would run, that's too strong of a statement, but, the but for sure would highly consider running. Yeah, yes. and I, I just think in terms of what's best for MPS and the board is that if you have four, potentially four board seats that could be turned over next fall or at the beginning of uh, 2015, that would be uh, an asset to the board. Um, and and for that, that was something that we, or we did consider, consider. In, in reviewing everybody. Yep. Absolutely. That's good. Yep. The other thing that I really like is uh, as far as the strength of the board and communicating with the superintendent that Pam exhibits the skills and understands the role of a board member and understands where that ends and where Mr. Sharrow takes over. And I think that that would be, I think, a, a definitely a plus for the functioning of the board. Keep in mind all the things that we have going on uh, with work to do with the board in the context of education today and the best that um, the board members understand the role, I think, would be a plus. It's, um, it's clear from her past activities when when uh, question about what her involvement was and what she expects her role to be here, it's very much about policy and direction. And uh, it's clearly not about day-to-day -day operations. So that felt very, very good to us also as we looked. Yeah. I wanna thank the three of you that served on the committee. Um, it's fabulous to see that we had a lot of interest and I hope the people that um, were not selected tonight still um, keep interested and there are many other ways of helping the school district um, and thank you very much the, what you put together on Pam was wonderful and I really look forward to working with her thank you yeah I'll, I will uh, close the comments and take it to a vote um, it, it's clear that she understands the role it's clear she's eager to serve and I also want to thank is there several other board members did all the other applicants uh, we indicated to them that if not chosen, we were gonna have several key decisions we'll be making strategically over the next year. And uh, they were gonna keep their name on our list to make sure they get involved at that level uh, if they so desire. Uh, most expressed an interest, and so we will, we will tap that interest. Um, so I'd like to thank everybody uh, that was concerned about what we're doing and uh, 
and, uh, and serving with us. So I don't think there's anything else to add that we may have missed. Anything else from the subcommittee? I don't think so. I think it was a great process, and as Scott said, we had a lot of good discussion, and um, I'm very comfortable with, with how it was handled. Okay. Thank you to everybody who applied. Yes. Uh, really, it was, it was a lot to, to make the decision to move forward, so we appreciate that. And uh, you know, sadly, we can only pick one, and uh, we made that decision. Yep. Okay, with that, I'll entertain a motion to accept uh, the rec to well, I guess the, the motion will be to uh, name Pamela uh, Singer as our temporary board member. I move that we name Pamela Singer as our temporary board member. Second the motion. I have a, a motion by Treasurer Branstadt and a second by Member McFarland. I'll do a roll call vote if we... Sure. It's okay. Uh, President Wasserman? Yes. Vice President Baker? Yes. Secretary Kaminsky, myself, yes. Uh, Treasurer Branstadt? Yes. Member Gordon? Yes. Member McFarland? Six. Unanimous 6 0 vote. Uh, welcome to the Board of Education. Uh, Pam, uh, there's, there's Cindy. I've instructed uh, Pam to, to get a hold of you uh, very quickly in short order to sign the, the oath and, and the mechanics of that um, and to get the schedules, et cetera, et cetera. I will be meeting with Pam, I think it's next Monday morning on the schedule. Uh, she and I were scheduled, assuming that you were going to make this vote tonight. Uh, so that uh, I can go a little bit through the mechanics of board, et cetera, et cetera. Not a whole, not an MASB training class by any means, uh, but uh, but certainly to get her a little grounded on what to do the first day she shows up in the chair. Um, as the pre as our policy also calls, uh, the president gets to make the selections of the committee assignments, and I will be naming Pam to serve on the curriculum committee in direct replacement of the vacated seat. So. If I think she'll be willing, she indicated to me she'd be more than willing to serve on that. Okay. With that, I, unless there's any other comments from the board? Should we get her a pink shirt? We city so could talk to her when she comes. Okay. <laughs> okay. That uh, she will have a nameplate by next week. Great. Okay. With that, we'll we'll stand closed.